my name is Courtney DeKalb Myers. I am the Cleveland County Horticulture Educator. Today I'm here at the Central Library for the Pioneer Library System and we're talking about different insects and diseases and various pests that we might encounter in our garden, how to kind of assess their damage, deal with them, and then some of the tools that we might have for control or mitigation. When it comes to controlling plant diseases, we try to think of the plant disease triangle. And so what makes up the plant disease triangle is a host, a pathogen, and the environment. But the catch is the host has to be susceptible, so has to be susceptible to that pathogen. The pathogen has to be virulent, meaning that it is capable of getting within that plant and causing uh, damage of that plant. And then the environment also has to be conducive. So certain diseases really like it wet and humid, some really like it hot and dry. Uh, but depending on your pathogen, you have to have a conducive environment. And so if you have all three of these characteristics, that is when you begin to see the presence of disease. And so I've got uh, some disease right here. So a good way to kind of think about control when it comes to diseases is interrupting this plant disease triangle. So think of it kind of like a three-legged stool. A three-legged stool only stands if it has three legs. You cut off one of those legs and that stool no longer stands up. And so that's kind of how the plant disease triangle works. We have to have all of these components in order for there to be disease. So ways that we can control if we have a host, making sure that host is not susceptible. So looking out for resistant varieties, things that might have some immunity to diseases that are present within the environment can be a good option. When you go out to shop, make sure that 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 plant, when you bring it home, doesn't have any disease on it, is already healthy. Uh, plants don't necessarily get healthier once you bring them home. For controlling pathogens, we can do things like sanitation, so removing that pathogen, uh, making sure that it doesn't get to our, to our host. We're also using any sort of preventative fungicides to prevent infection. When it comes to manipulating the environment, you can do things like prune your plants to make sure that there's good airflow. A lot of diseases really like humid, still air. So if there's good airflow in the canopy, that can be very helpful. So some things to look for when you're kind of looking to see if there's any plant diseases within your landscape, look for things like spots. And so here we have a rose sample that has some black spot. And so this is pretty bad, pretty, uh, pretty far in the stages of disease, but it has this uh, spot and this speckled and random pattern to it. Also, like we have been this season, if we are wet and kind of cool and maybe sort of humid, we might have bad infestations or bad incidences of powdery mildew. Powdery mildew is kind of unique in that you can actually see the webbing. That webbing is actually fungal growth. That's more of a sign rather than a symptom, but that's what's growing on top of the plant. Also look for different things like spots on your plant. Uh, to kind of assess what's going on. And so this here is an apple tree that's got some kind of, I believe, either rust or bacterial speck on it. Can be a symptom of some disease. Kind of something unique to consider when looking for diseases versus maybe something that's environmental. Diseases are always going to be random. And so if you see those spots and they don't sort of have any rhyme or rhythm to them, then that's a good indicator if it's a disease. If you're seeing some damage to the plant and it's more localized, maybe along the leaf margins or maybe localized to one part of the plant or one side of the plant, that's an indicator that it might be something more environmental causing the issue rather than a pathogen. Pest control of insects or diseases is a multi-step approach uh, and a 360 approach. 